Hello! Perfidious Pete here, Monday night, woohoo, it's Pete time, the only person to ever say that. What's up, Clock Tower? Welcome to the stream. Let's get back to a little bit of ducking some mother duckers, shall we? It's Year Zero, Road to Eden, a game with a title that's arguably a little too long, but, you know, still pretty damn good. We've been enjoying Mutant quite a bit. This game's awesome, actually. I really like it. It's good. Plus, duck puns. What's, what's not to love? Might still hear the occasional mic drop because I'm still... I'm, I'm feeling better, chat, quite a bit better, but I've got a little bit of phlegmatic area going on. Still a little bit of the lung butter churning up from every now and then, so, you know, might need to take the occasional respite, and I doubt you want to hear me churning up vacuous, gigantic clots of wicked infected mucus so you know if you hear the mic drop that's just me horking into a trash can so where were we the sea of titans it looks like everybody is really hurt we just came out of the cave of fear back to work then are we eventually going to get like a fourth person it seems like pig duck rabbit there should be another there should be another piece to this puzzle it's like cat, mouse, dog. There should be another animal in the hierarchy, but I'm not sure what animal it should be. Cat, mouse, dog is kind of the classic. Where do you go once you get above dog? Ooh, stuff. Something good? Come on, have delicious gubbins. Kiss me, it's a pork pie hat. How can I not have a pig wear a pork pie hat? Well, because it's actually plus critical when hidden, which means it would be a really good hat for duck. I want to put the pork pie hat on the pig so badly, though. Okay, you know what? Let's just see how it works. He looks like a somewhat... You know what? This is going to sound weird, chat, but... Don't you mean kiss me, quack? There you go. Thanks for the duck pun, chat. Am, am I wrong, chat, or does this pig look a little bit like Jack Klugman as Felix Unger in The Odd Couple? I'm not wrong, am I? Tell me this isn't Jack Klugman a little bit. I'm getting a real Klugman vibe. It's got the vibe. So, Duck, what do you have? Bonus range is actually pretty good. What does your top hat do? You have a bonus critical from high ground, but didn't we turn off your jumpy legs? Yeah, we turned off her jumpy legs and gave her low cover counts as high cover. So, you know what? Let's get rid of the height advantage. And give her a pork pie hat, because now she looks like every tween hipster wannabe that you've ever seen right in their screenplay at a Starbucks. How's that screenplay coming, by the way, ma'am? Like, uh, have you got a, an interesting protagonist and a dynamic plot line worked out? Kind of a classic three-act structure? How's that working for you? Well, you got like a contract deal? You're going to maybe sell that one to Warner Brothers? Pick it up. They can do a Michael Bay adaptation of it where it's mostly just explosions. We got a human on the team. Uh, technically, the answer to that question is no. We have a rabbit on the team. So these guys can't find their way to pig, but pig can find his way back to them. I guess we know what animal is the smartest and clearly it ain't fucking duck. Way to drag down the IQ average, duck. Nice work. I mean, leave it to him to duck it all up, am I right? But we were told there were bad guys around here somewhere. We're supposed to go investigate the crash site. I'm just kind of wandering around, though. We got to go to Crokin. Oh, hey, there's a medkit here. I'll pick up this medkit. Forget hiding. Anything else useful over here? Oh, hey. Got a note. Stalker Anton, though. So, this is a really weird... I'm not sure you have translated that sentence correctly, whatever translation program they use to take this from, I'm going to guess, Norwegian into English. Whilst me and the crew were on an expedition up to the north, we found a strange artifact we believe was used to keep things cold, but it was sitting in an old palace to the east of the House of Bones, which is in a permanent state of cold anyway. Ancients were a strange bunch. Or, you know, they just owned a refrigerator. This is an all-mutant team, Pete. Kick that human girl out. She's not human. She's a rabbit. 
Okay, first off, she's a rabbit. And second of all, she's not human. I mean, she has a horn. Granted, it's only one horn, and it's kind of not necessarily in the middle of her face like you might expect if she were, say, a unicorn. But she's definitely not fully human. I don't suppose we can see any bad guys or anything down there? No, but there is a treasure chest. So we'll want to go get that. Also, Pig is the leader of this posse. Anyone who is not Pig needs to just back the fuck up for a minute. It's Pig or GTFO, really. I keep looking for dead duck bodies, but I never see one. Don't you mean ducking the dead bodies? In the zone? You're right. There are no mutants in the zone. I've been checking bodies ever since you mentioned it. There aren't really that many mutants in the Ark, either. I don't want to judge you weirdo mutie freakouts, but uh, I hate to break it to you, but... Obey me. Um, Obey me. I'm going to go with no. Ah, making my head spin. Did you hear that? I heard the same voices when me and Hammond got ambushed. You mean the ham man? The tail that pig mothers use to terrify their tiny pig children? Okay, so there's a marauder over there. Everybody, oh, just split up, guys. We gotta hide. There, okay. Nope, it's hide time. Pig, hide. Duck, come on. Get out of here. Like, okay, everybody split, split up. up. Yeah, pig, hide, though. Rabbit girl. You know what? Duck behind this rock for a minute. So Duck is our ultimate stealth killer. Also, Duck, could you switch weapons, please? Because we want you to use your silent weapon. So this Marauder has 10 health. We can get into a scenario over here where he's probably alone enough for us to ambush and murder. Ancient power. Feel my words inside you. Taking control. This guy wants to feel me inside him? I'm, I'm uncomfortable suddenly. I don't want... I don't want to feel you inside me, thanks. I mean, you could at least buy a girl a drink first. Alright, pig. You're the last man. You're the last hog to the party. Duck's our ultimate ambusher. Alright, here we go. He's gonna come around this corner. A duck and pig are going to whack him. Oh, okay. Didn't he come over here a minute ago, like all by himself? Or am I just misremembering his pathing? Maybe I'm just misremembering his pathing. Wasn't there swag back here? You guys keep a, keep a low profile for a minute. We're going to send Rabbit Girl out here to grab this swag. There's a swag bag and I want it. Wait, it's just a note. Hey, the only Greek. What's up, man? If you want to keep your face, avoid the north. The northern ghoul tribe is planning something huge up at the lair of the Horned Devil. They've grabbed an ancient power source that's twice the size of the one back in the Ark and have been spotted hauling lumps of heavy equipment to that place. Do not attempt to go further north. Ghouls will eat you. Stalker Kale. I mean, I kind of want to go north now just as a matter of principle. He'd be like, oh, don't go to the north. And I'm like, fuck you. You're not my real mom. Okay, uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and ambush this man, even though we're in kind of a terrible place for it. So get out the quiet weapon and shoot this man in the face with your needle pistol. No, Duck, you have no shot. You're going to have a shot. It's just going to be a terrible one. 75% chance. You know what? Good enough. We've done it. Nailed it. Good work, pig. There's nothing rabbity about that girl at all. She has rabbit's feet, though. Not like on a keychain in her pocket, but like at the end of her legs. She's definitely a rabbit. Funny girl. Your thoughts are sinful. Give me your brain. Okay. So I may lead you into salvation. What are you channeling my third grade Bible school teacher now? 
Your thoughts are sinful, Pete. Well, of course they are. I mostly think about masturbating. Don't judge me. <gasps> There's some kind of hideous clown poster. We have to stop and check out the scary clown. Hello, terrifying clown. You must be this tall to be frightened by me. I do see some swag over here. All right, duck. Come on, let's go check. Oh, there's a marauder. You think we can dash in and bag the swag before he notices us? None of this stuff is swag. It's just notes. You thought about masturbating in third grade? <clears throat> um, yeah, occasionally. Eric, I need you to gather the children and take the next ferry without me. I will join you at the shelter very soon. My phone calls aren't going through, so I pray that you receive this message. The soldiers have told us those... Soldiers have told those of us who have the red eye infection to wait at the dock until the medic has checked us. Please look after Lucas and Freya and tell them that I love you all so much. Tina. So the world ended because a bunch of people got pink eye? Because, like, that's what I'm... That's the takeaway I got from that message. That man is level 26 and he has a billion, trillion, zillion health. There's like no way we can fight that dude. We might be able to ambush this marauder if we're careful, but the 26 health guy? Guess people were packing for a trip. Guess they didn't make it. Yeah, they sure didn't. Give me this old tool scrap. So there's a pyro over there. Yeah, I know where Duck is, thanks. Brother Bowden, a sect hunter. Man, these guys are actually pretty tough. At level 16, the they're going to be children. fairly difficult Your to take down. Destiny awaits. Yeah, could you shut up talking, man? We believe. Yeah! Hear my voice within your heads. The Ark calls you ghouls, but you are beautiful. You are children of the ancients. That's right, tell him, brother. You don't let anybody body shame you. You be ghoul and proud. Yeah, yeah. Ghoul is beautiful. Don't let anybody tell you any different. How do we get out there? There's a treasure chest out there, so we definitely want to go. Right, pig, take cover for a second. And we're going to wait for this marauder to pop back over because I'm almost positive. You know what? Duck may be a little close to Brother Bowden over there, and I don't want to fight that level 26 guy. Can he have? Okay, so we're just going to have everybody hide behind this bucket. And then when that man comes over, we will shoot him. Still not a rabbit. She's just a woman who's lying to get on the mutant team. Would you really want to be on a team with Duck and Pig? I mean, sure, Pig's got that whole Jack Klugman thing going on, which admittedly is pretty cool. And Duck, with his casual swearing, you know, he's a relatively agreeable as well, but their odor has got to be off-putting in the extreme. Okay, Duck, we're going to need you to go ahead and ambush here. Let's activate Duck. And we would like for you to crossbow this man in the face. Can't miss. A critical damn near kills him. Hi there. And we're gonna activate you. The enemy heard me. I shot a silenced weapon. How did they hear us? Bye. Call me. Cleanly done. So the enemy heard us, but not as such. Also, they don't really seem to care at all about that man's burning corpse. Hey, Duck, could you maybe not stand up, turn your flashlight on, and make yourself, like, painfully obviously visible? Don't mind me, just looting this burning corpse over here. That level 26 guy, I don't think we can kill that dude. He's not a red skull. So there's that. Oh, duck hide. He's not a red skull, which means there is like a small chance we could beat him, but... He's got so much other help. Those hunters and butchers and whatnot. 
It seems a little busy in that area. What an incredible piece of junk. At least it floats, right? No, I want to figure out how to get over in that place with the treasure chest, though. Like, I don't care about any of this stuff. I just want to go over there. How do I get over there? Take this cow and scrap. But that's not how I get... No, I want to go. I want to go get what's in the treasure chest. Also, I don't really see any way on this boat. It's kind of looking like we got to go through Brother Budin or whatever his name is here. I don't see any other path of ingress. How do we get over there? It's Judgment Day, sirs. Obey me. Oh, it turns out we can just walk. Never mind. Uh, you know, I hate to break it to you there, Brother Budin or Brother Budan or Brother Booyah Base or whatever your name is. But uh, Judgment Day, according to canon, actually happened in, I think it was like 1985. Requires evac control key, which we don't have. Okay. But uh, Judgment Day was in our old future. And we uh, averted it, thanks to the clever and swift actions of Sarah Connor and her offspring. Like, Judgment Day has been averted. We're all cool now. Now we're just waiting for, you know, global thermonuclear apocalypse now that we've averted that. What we're waiting for instead is just the cl catastrophic climactic change that will ultimately prove to be our Judgment Day. Turns out, nukes? Yeah, we didn't need those. We found a much duller, slower, less cool way to kill ourselves. Ducks don't have much of a smell. Have you ever seen a duck? I mean, I grew up on a farm, so yeah, I've seen a duck or two in my day. In fact, I've raised ducks, so... And uh, they do kind of actually smell pretty bad. Most poultry and fowl smell pretty bad. Okay, is there some way we can make this man fight the talkie guy then? We gotta see if we can turn these dudes against the other dudes. Evil feeds on itself, chat. We gotta find a way to make evil feed. Oh, there comes a marauder. We gotta find a way to make evil feed upon itself. That's our goal. Work the outsides against the middle. And also come pick up all this sweet-ass broken scrap. That's a lot of gun parts. Can maybe turn your light off, though, Duck? So up here we have a sect hunter and just a sect hunter and a marauder? Is that it? Is it just two guys? So we can pick these two off then. Yeah, we should be able to get these guys. All right, you know what, pig? Come on. You don't you don't have to hide here. Just keep up. Hey guys, come here. No, not don't don't come here, duck. Duck, you stay where you're at. Other guys can come here though. Uh pig. We go in there, champ. Don't mind us, Brother Budin. We're, we're uh, just skulking around over here. You know, laying low. Skulking. Hulking. Bulking. Pig, you take duck spot. Wait here. Duck, you a mad scout. Go find that other dude. There was a marauder working the edges out here somewhere. We saw him wandering when we were trying to sneak some loot. Where'd he go, though? We might be able to just straight up pop that sect hunter. If we can get a good ambush on him when that butcher isn't around, we might be able to just drop him. Yeah, there's the marauder. Is he patrolling at all? He is. And he has a friend. 
But it looks like this might be another way to get onto the ship. Stay in the weeds, duck. The shallow one's by the shore because you're a duck. You're not an ocean fowl. So we don't want to fight this guy right here because if we fight him in this area... We're going to wind up fighting that sect hunter too. I actually think if we wait for the marauder to go back, we can take the sect hunter down. So how close to this guy can we get then? And is there a relevant and appropriate hiding spot? In fact, relatively close. And also the answer is yes, a couple. Can you hide behind that table? Yep. So then it just comes down to how close we can get pig and can we get pig a decent shot? Get hiding spot, pig. Real subtle. Hey, duck. Pig's an idiot, so... No, that's fine. You go ahead and hide in the same spot that wasn't good enough for pig. Perfect. I'm thinking we go ahead and ambush this guy. We activate pig. Hit him with the silent weapon. Oh, uh, we do not have especially good shots here. Donut. Pig still got the job done. Duck. Duck's got the range. Yeah, Duck's still 100% to hit, even from this range. We are not going to get the kill on this man, and we did not set him on fire, and also some enemy somewhere hurt us. We have to critical to kill him. But we are 45% to crit. Take the shot, by the way. She's done it! You ain't half bad. Rabbit greased him. Oh, the Marauder still hurt us, though. So he's coming. He's in low cover and on Overwatch. We have no shots. If we don't have a shot, he doesn't have a shot. Pig, you got a shot from here? Nope. Pig can't gape him from here. Oh, that's why we got heard. Because Duck shot him with the wrong fucking weapon. Okay, so Duck, we need you to move and reload. So run over here, be far away, and then reload this shit. Soma, you're on Overwatch. Overwatch. Pig, do you have a shot? Pig does not have a shot because that guy's also out of range, so we're just going to Overwatch. Make this man come to us. If he's out of range of us, we're almost certainly out of range to him. Overwatch. He refuses to come forward, but that's fine. We'll just sit back. No, don't shoot that man, Duck. No chance to hit, huh? That isn't exactly where I wanted you to be, Doc. Like, I wanted you to have some cover. Just Overwatch. 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 It's classic Overwatch, Overwatch creeping here. Come at me, Marauder, bro. Overwatch. Man, this guy's taking his sweet-ass time, though, huh? Doc? Chance to hit him. I mean, I can do this all day. I've played the long war, so, so you got a shot. If we get somebody who has a shot, even if it's low percentage, we'll probably take it. Pig, can you gape him? Pig cannot gape him. Back to Overwatch and then. This guy's going to advance one tile. Get Overwatched. So that was Duck and Selma. So everybody took a shot and completely whiffed it, but that's okay. Because Pig's going to come and gape this dude. All right, Pig, you know what we like. Come gape him. 
Oh, ho, 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 pig gaped him good. Bingo. Good stuff. <laughs> 